Hi guys and welcome to our third tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with flow code. In this tutorial we're gonna discuss about variables. What is a variable? In simple terms a variable is a location in memory where we can store information. The type of variable created must match the correct type of information that is to be stored in. If, for example, you want to store a number, we cannot store it in a location destined to storing strings. In flow code, we have eight types of variable. A bool. A bool can be either one or zero. This is normally used to store information that requires two possibilities, only true or false. A byte. The range of a byte is from 0 to 255. This is an 8-bit variable, and this is a default variable in flow code. It can be used for numbers in the range of 0 to 255. An int. An int is in the range of plus or minus 32768 in the 16-bit sign variable. A sign variable means a variable that can be either positive or negative. Unsigned int. The range is from 0 to 65535. This is a 16-bit unsigned variable. An unsigned variable is a variable that can only be positive. Long. The range of a long is plus minus 25, 47, 48, 36, 6, 48. This is a 36-bit sign variable. Unsigned long. The range from 0 to 42, 94, 96, 72, 95. This is an assigned variable as well. A string. The, re the range of a string is from 0 to 255. This is a bit this is a 8-bit unsigned array. This can be used for characters. The default size of, of a string is 20, but you can increase it as you need. Floating point. The floating point range is from minus infinity to plus infinity this is a 32-bit variable as well this can be used for floating point numbers a floating point is a number containing commas if you want to declare your variable you can go to edit variables You can add access the port of a peak directly. You can declare vari global variables or you can declare local variable. If you want to declare a constant, a constant is basically the same as a variable. The only difference is that you cannot change its value during the program. If, let's say, you're going to declare a value of pi, it's going to be fixed and you're not, you're not going to alter it during the course of the program. You can click on variable, create, add new. You can add the name of a variable, let's say test. You can, you can choose other to put the initial value. Let's say the initial value is zero. If you want, you can put a small description. The default is a byte. You can choose either a bool, a byte, then click OK. For constant, you don't need to specify whether it's an int, whether it's a byte. Flow code automatically is going to choose which type of variable to allocate to it. Let's say I'm going to declare pi, constant value, 3.5. One four one five. Okay. 
And that's it, guys. It's very simple to declare variable in flow code. Let us create a small project and see how we can use this type of variables. Okay, I'm going to put four LEDs. One, two, three, four. Okay, my first LED is going to be a red LED. I'm going to connect it. All these LEDs, I'm going to connect them on port B. Connection, port B, bit 0, done. The next one, going to make it a yellow. Okay. Connection out B bit one. Okay. The next one I'm gonna make it green. Don't put B bit two. The next one. gonna make it blue and I'm gonna connect it to put B bit 3 okay let me declare my variables okay okay let me just delete this because we're not gonna use them delete okay create new Let's say LED red. Okay, remember guys, when naming a variable in flow code, the variable can be a maximum of 32 alphanumeric characters. They can connect, contain underscores characters but not space and at least one letter must be included in a variable to distinguish it from a pure number we put underscore okay they're also gonna be byte let me create another one yellow led Next one, green LED, just edit this one, if you want to edit something and just click it and edit, red LED, And the last one, blue LED. If you want to use a variable, you just double click it. LED equals one. Okay, I'm going to double click the next one. Yellow equals Two, then green equals four, and the blue equals eight. Okay, let me create a while one loop. Then I can start switching on my LEDs. I can say output B and instead of putting a value you can just select the variable red let me put a delay 
500 milliseconds then I can switch off on the next LED put B equals yellow delay Five hundred millisecond. Then I can say output equals green. Then a delay again. Five hundred millisecond. And lastly, output B, I'm going to output blue, and a delay again of 500 milliseconds. If I run the program, I'm going to see the lamp alternating. Thank you for watching.